cooking is great. Screwing up a dish, not so good. Burning food at the bottom of your pan, disaster. Stick around and I'll show you the quickest and easiest way to clean your pots, pans, and casserole dishes. Hello aspiring Food Network stars, it's Melissa Maker here from Clean My Space with a couple of screwed up pieces of cookware on behalf of Tamara. Tamara asked me, hey Melissa, is there an easier way to clean pots and pans aside from soaking them for three days? What people normally do when they've burned something or cooked something without protecting the bottom of their casserole dish is soak it. And as you can see, I have soaked this thing for about three days. I made some potatoes and you know, I probably should have done a better job, but hey, I'm in the cleaning business, not the cooking business. However, what you can see is oil spatters and thick soup from burning stuff that's not coming off anytime soon. So when you're faced with a pan like this, what do you do? Are you gonna scrub it for an hour? Are you gonna let it sit for three days in your kitchen, stinking the place up and looking absolutely horrendous? So let's talk tools. For this task, I recommend one or two drops of dishwashing liquid. The reason is it cuts grease and that's what we need for a heavy duty cleanup job. Second thing we'll need, some arm and hammer, some baking soda, gloves to protect your lovely hands, the cleaning toothbrush, which I've cleaned because I've used it for a number of other cleaning tasks, and a sponge, double sided. Let's scrub the crap out of this pan. First thing I'll do is add just a bit of dishwashing soap to the pan. I told you, I want to cut grease. The second thing I'm going to do is add about a tablespoon of baking soda to the bottom of the pan. Now you can see I've added some water to this, and I forgot to mention it in the tools that you'll need, but come on, who doesn't have water in your kitchen, okay? So I've put the pan on high, and now I'll just let it simmer for a while. The baking soda, the water, the dishwashing liquid, it's all working in my favor. The less elbow grease for me, the better. The heat will speed up the process of breaking down the soup at the bottom of the pan. If it's Teflon or non-stick and you've still got something burned on the bottom that you can't get off, you need cooking glasses. My pan is starting to simmer up. This is good. I'll take this foamy concoction, dump it down the sink, add a little bit more baking soda, and be careful because the pot is hot. Eat it easy. Now, I can use a toothbrush or I can use the sponge. And in a few quick swipes, you can see how easy it was to clean even the worst pan. How awesome is this? I took a really nasty pan and I cleaned it in no time. Beautiful. Tamara, I hope that's answered your question. This trip is a huge time saver. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any cleaning questions or a comment about the video, you can drop it in the box below. You can also find us on Twitter at twitter.com slash cleanmyspace. And for more great cleaning videos, hit the button above to subscribe. Go ahead and screw up any dish you want. At least you can clean the pan afterwards. Thanks so much for watching my Food Network wannabes, and we'll see you next time.